Oh my God. This is us be giving us all the tea. You know when you be watching stuff and you think like, oh, this is so predictable. I know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen with This Is Us. I mean, but you are a glutton for punishment and we keep on doing it to ourselves. We know. We knew it was coming last week. We knew it was coming last year. We knew that the house had burned down. Jack about to die. He about to look all decrepit and burnt up and everything. He was just like, look, whatever happens, you got to get your mama out of here. And meanwhile, his hands is burning like a mug. Like they look like they melting and everything. And I'm sitting over here because I'm just like hell yeah just jump your ass out the window it's a burning house and everything and then he run back to the house and get the damn dog now look had it been me f that dog f Peter, f all you animal lovers when it comes to me and an animal that animal got to go now I'm sitting over here and I'm looking at the writers of this is us and I'm like what the hell is y'all doing like I was mentally prepared y'all that's a good man but boo it effed you up later. Oh my God, y'all, Beth and Randall. And then there was like another cut, right? And then um, it was like a little boy, cutest little boy, little black boy. And then when I found out he was in foster care, I was like, no, no! Like Charlotte from Sex and the City movie when Big had stood up Carrie and she was like, no, as a friend, how that's how all your friends should be. Because at that moment, I was like, I can't deal with another foster kid, y'all. Because the last one, when they got Deja and took Deja away, that effed me up. So I can't do it anymore. And I was like, I can't even be mad at you, boo, because I know what it's like to have to share your parents and everything. Because I was the, um, I was the practice child for my godparents. And then, you know, I was my parents' only child. And then my god sister came in along and I was a little pissed off about that I was thinking about seven or eight at the time and you know I may or may not have let her roll off the bed as a newborn but that's neither here nor there she's beautiful she just graduated that's my girl that's my sister and then the youngest one she got like a lizard y'all I don't do rodents reptiles or amphibians that's just something I just don't do they had little girls coming over to watch the game I don't know why but you know Randall be doing a whole bunch of stuff he be doing the most and you know Jack is still kind of like uh huh uh huh like that but he was like yeah you know he's giving him oxygen Bex is like I gotta take you to the hospital just to make sure you're okay emergency room then she's just like I'm gonna send Randall and Kate to um stay with Miguel then um what happened it cut back to Kate and Kate was watching the video that her dad made on the low and then it got jacked up and then she was about to be freaking out a little bit and then Toby oh my god Toby is fiance goes oh my god I love me some Toby Beth goes and she answers it. I forgot who had called her, but then she turns around and she steps on something. Here's a crunch. Then she's like, oh, Lord, I done stepped on that damn lizard. Good. Sunglass case. And so, you know, he has like a little eulogy for it. But then the eulogy is kind of like the eulogy for his father. And of course, you know, tears. I'm getting a little misty eye. Huh? Huh? Um, Bex is sitting there with Jack and then the doctor's talking he's like look you got a lot of like uh, what, smoke inhalation or whatever so we just need to make sure and run some tests and all that stuff. Kevin is still out with Sophie and then in the back you you hear like all the um, hospital people they talking about um, a code 2 a code 2 I already know I already know so she got herself a Mars bar and then, like, the doctor come out, and he's just like, look, with the amount of smoke that Jack inhaled, blah, say, blah, um, you know, it got into his lungs, and he suffered, like, cardiac arrest. And she was like, what you mean? Like, I just came from the room, and he was fine. He's watching the Super Bowl. Oh, child. Child. They do this thing where it's like you see him kind of in the mirror, um, the the image of him in in the in in like the mirror image of him in the window, and he just laying there lifeless, and she just like, <sighs> she wearing her Steelers. Oh, I feel it, but I can't cry because I have on these eyelashes, and I'm supposed to be on camera. And, oh, I can't like. Oh my God! Can I just tell you something, Mandy Moore? I knew, I knew that it was it for you when you was in a walk to remember and you made me cry then when you was Jamie and I just want to let you know that I was still not over that and I'm not over this because y'all be doing this to me. Jack is dead. That's how Jack died. We thought it was in the fire and it damn sure wasn't in the fire. They was like nah we about to F you up now. I couldn't. I couldn't.
No. Mm -mm. <sighs> she takes him outside and says, look, something happened. It's bad. Jack's dead. Miguel's like, no, no, don't tell me. She's like, look, Miguel, you need to pull your ass together because I got to tell these kids. And if you can't, then you need to take your ass to walk because I need to do this. I need to hold it down for my kids. It was just like, oh, my God. We knew it was coming. We knew it. And I'm still, like, on the bed doing my makeup, like, hella, like, emotional. Kay looks at Rain. I was like, I got to find Kevin. I got to tell him he's got to hear from me first. Kevin is by the tree, and he's actually talking to his dad. And it's really nice to see, like, you know, how Kevin deals with grief and how he's talking to his dad. And it was just like, because, you know, him and his dad did not end on the best terms before his um, daddy died. So I felt like he was always holding on to that guilt. He was like, I just got through talking to dad, you know, his favorite spot by the tree and everything. But I got to be honest, I'm not sure this is the right tree. And then she laughed, and it's just like, you know what? That was your dad. Your dad sent me you. And I was just like, who? Child, hand over my heart. This one, hand to God. This is where I lost it again. She's just like, okay, yeah, we found you the family. And we thinking it's Beth and Rando. Hello? Hello? This is us done effed up the game again and got us thinking it's one thing and it's something else. So then a white family comes and they playing with it. I'm just like, what the man? What the man? What the man? I thought it was going to be best around. I was going to be adopting this black child. Someone says, hey, Tess, your dad is here to see you. And then it's Randall as he's like an older man and Tess is the social worker. And then I'm like, oh my God. Did Ava do Renee direct it? I'm getting teary-eyed again. And that's when I was just like, this is us. Y'all done had me through all the fields. I'm crying and everything. I'm supposed to be on camera this morning and stuff. Got my beat on, Fenty Face, flawless. And then y'all gonna do it like this. And I cried three, four times. Child. And then they got the nerve to have on another brand new episode on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Like we still ain't effed up from what happened on Sunday. Child, I can't.